together. Senator Joe Biden and Governor Sarah Palin joining us now, former Republican presidential candidate and former Tennessee Senator Fred Thompson. Senator, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, last time we caught up with you was, uh, you was in St. Louis at the Republican convention. You told me you had absolute faith in Governor Palin at that point. You called her, quote, a remarkable success story in the history of American politics. But in the last few days, several conservatives, among them George Will, Kathleen Parker of National Review, and David Frum, former speechwriter for President Bush, have all said, wow, watching these interviews, she appears a little bit out of her league. What do you say about those opinions? Well, I respect all of them very much, but they're belt uh, 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 Beltway uh, pundits themselves, uh, and uh, they look at things in a very traditional way. And here's here's a woman who is a, 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 a has a very accomplished record, who's done uh, great things in Alaska for her state, who's taken on the oil companies, who's taken on members of her own party, who defeated a, a one-time popular incumbent governor, and then defeated uh, two uh, Democrats in a general election, and held about a dozen or two dozen debates, I guess, during that period of time, and has an 80% approval rating in her home state. And she's been, uh, she's been thrown out into the midst of this pretty rapidly, and she has to get introduced on the national level. It's understandable. She's going to take some bumps. But you're applying, not you, but generally, a, a double standard has been applied to her that they do not apply to Joe Biden. He's been around 35 years, makes a gaffe every day, practically. And people kind of smile and go on. Uh, but she's been micromanaged, mi uh, not micromanaged, but oh. microscoped. And, wait, um, wait a second, was that a Freudian slip? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Well, has uh, she been micromanaged uh, here? Because there are some people who say I, I there has been know. too tight a rein on her by the McCain campaign. They need to just, you know, free the bonds and let her go to be herself. Well, it's possible. It's, it's possible. Because the person that uh, we've seen in times past, the person who walked out there before that convention to be introduced to the world, uh, and give her first speech, had her teleprompter go out on her. Mm. And she handled that with aplomb. She has, uh, she, she has self-confidence when she's following her own instincts, and that's why she's going to be uh, fine tonight. Uh, I, I, I have no concerns uh, about her. People ought to uh, understand that the American people are not all into this gotcha machine that Democrats and Republicans in Washington, D.C. are all into and think are very determinative. Governors in times past who were up as vice presidential nominees didn't have to go through this, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and they shouldn't be judged solely on that uh, today. She's gone through the fires of introduction. Mm -hmm. They've, uh, they've, they've uh, slandered her and her family in, in ways on the Internet and some of the left-wing groups, uh, unimaginable. Uh, they have accused her of being inexperienced. And look what kind of experience that we've got in Washington, D.C. today. Look what all of our experience has, has hey, wrought Senator, in Senator, Washington uh, and on Wall Street. So I think, I think somebody who has the qualifications uh, of, 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 of courage, of moral courage, mm -hmm. and the willingness to take on those who need to be taken on and defeat them uh, needs to be added to that mix. I think it would be good for our country at this particular time. Uh, uh, just, to, to Senator, have that Senator, kind of I, person. I, I just want to say to you, I, I thought that that teleprompter story was a myth. That mm -hmm. we had checked with the RNC and they said no, that there wasn't a problem with the teleprompter. But let me let me ask you this question: If you were coaching Joe, yeah, and nobody ever makes a mistake at the RNC. Yeah. Uh, if if you were coaching, Rudy, ask, Rudy, ask Rudy Giuliani. Ask Rudy Giuliani about that teleprompter. Uh, all right. If, well, let me ask you this question though: If you were coaching Joe Biden tonight, if you were if you were assigned to debate prep for him, what would you advise him to do this evening? Oh, I think uh, just uh, tend to his knitting, uh, uh, pretend that she's not there, uh, talk about John McCain. Those are the traditional roles, and mm -hmm. I think that suit, uh, uh, suit Joe well. Uh, he's got a hard uh, defensive job. He's got mm -hmm. to defend Barack Obama. He's got to defend his own record. Uh, he, has, he has been one of Barack Obama's most severe critics. Uh, saying that uh, he was showing his inexperience when he said he would sit down unconditionally with Iranian uh, and other uh, leaders, uh, when he talked about going in uh, to Pakistan, when he voted against funding the troops, mm -hmm. all those things. Biden was severely critical of Obama. Right. So he's got some, uh, some difficulties there to, to deal with right. uh, uh, him, him, himself before he was selected uh, uh, for the ticket. But right. his main job uh, will be to go after John McCain. All right. Senator Fred Thompson, it's good to see you. Thanks for being with us this morning. Looking forward to tonight, certainly. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Take Thanks care. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again.